Case Study, The Hollywood Motion Picture Press Association, Schizoid Personality Disorder. Uh, hello, Mr. Stark. If I can't get you any more coffee, just let me know. We're gonna cycle the reporters through. They've only got a couple of minutes apiece. That's great, man. I've done this before. It's not my first rodeo. It's not a rodeo. Uh, this is an interview session. Okay, quiet down, everyone. First correspondent, please. Hi, Jillian Bespin from Harper's Normal. You've put on weight. Care to comment? I, I put on 15 pounds of muscle for this role. Muscle? Is that a German term? No, I worked with a personal trainer and nutritionist. You look greatish. I, when you were making this movie, did you get cast or did you audition? Well, I haven't seen the movie because I don't like corporate things. I don't even have a name. You said your name was Julian. That's for corporate reasons. Uh, I was cast in the film. Miscast. Well, I'd been in... Great. I think I got what I need. Boy, you nailed that one. Next, please. Have a seat. <clears throat> uh, Mr. Stark. Hello. This is Skitch Pow from Pop Go the Movies. I'm from an affiliate in Bethesda, Maryland. Would you mind, before the interview, uh, just give me a little quick uh, ID roll of, like, uh, Rod Stark says, Hi, Bethesda. This is Rod Stark, and uh, hello, Bethesda. Pop, pop, right? Well, we just do one pop, so My could fault. you do it again? My fault. And just say, uh, Bethesda, you keep me smiling. How about that? Bethesda, you keep me smiling. And I don't want to be, I know if you work with a lot of big directors, but uh, maybe go up on the keep, I'm thinking. Bethesda, you keep me smiling. We're gonna just go with it. I'll take the tape. Thank you. Sorry, Skitch. I don't think he's done this before. Next correspondent. Buongiorno, signore. Eh, Gambero non era perduto. Eh, Milano B. Eh, your last film, eh, Robot Crush, in Italy, it was uh, tried in a court of law. And uh, why do you be in uh, movies? Well, I'm. That's what I no, do. No, no, no. I know is what the uh, Comedy City is. Uh, what kind of uh, God allows a world where you get to be uh, the the actor? I, I've worked hard at my craft. Uh, okay. Just so you know, Mr. Stark, you can't lie on these answers. Watching you. Next. Uh, sorry. Try saying Bethesda. You keep me smiling. Don't go up. And th we looked at the tape. It doesn't work. One more time. Go ahead. This is Rod Smart. Bethesda, you keep me smiling. <sighs> Next. Yes, hello, Rod Stark. How are you today? I'm sorry? Yes, hello, Rod Stark. How are you today? Do I'm... your ears work? Yes, I'm great. I'm here for a provocative uh, sexual magazine. I'm sorry? I write for a provocative sexual magazine in Europe. You work for a provocative sexual magazine or... Do your ears work or are you a deaf? Go ahead and ask your question. The readers of Twat Hunger are very curious to know, with the euro going to disappear and Greece essentially performing uh, so horribly, um, do you have a fuck story? What? You know, a story about, you know... I'd prefer to talk about Earth Swarm. All right. Uh, the mechanical bees, were they CG or are they practical, robotine? No practical effects in this Could film. Could use some more practical effects, probably. Well, it's state-of-the-art digital effects. Yeah. Jar Jar Beans. Georgia Beans? Yes, that's what I said. Georgia Beans. Um, I'd like you to leave. You are a bitch. I liked him. He's got Zaz. Oh, back again. Sorry, uh, he, again, he finished early. I would not be doing this. We did not finish early. Ugh. And this one, go, Bethesda, you keep me smiling and draw the me out. How All about right. that? Here we go. Bethesda, you keep me smiling. That was exactly what I was looking for. I'm sorry I wasted all this time. Great. Can you do a quick second one where you tell my wife to poop on my chest? Uh, oh, hey. They're asking me to leave, sorry. I'm a Christian. Yes, hello. Yes, uh, Mr. Stark. Hello. Man, laughing well, laughing well's penny saver. I shop at your store. What's that? I've shopped at your store, Could man. Could you say that louder to the world? I've shopped at your store. That's right, you have. Let me ask you a question. With all the money you've made from your motion picture, how much of it has been spent on grocery? I have money people that- North of $1 million? Probably not. South of $2 million? Yes. So north of $1 million? No. Shouldn't you know what an average human being spends on groceries in a You're year? You're not an average human being, Mr. Stark. You're a special, wondrous creature. I put my pants on one leg at a time like everybody else. Do it now. I the world needs to see how it's done. We're all a bunch of stupid pants people. All right, little man. Yes, call me little. I'm little. I'm little and dumb and fat. Look at me. I'm bald on the top of my head. I will never forget the injustice you've done to me by humiliating me in front of these reporters. Justice will be mine, Mr. Stark. And uh, one final thing. Could you just say, drink my piss, Bethesda? Oh. oh, he's fine. He goes to my church. We've got time for one more and then two after that. 
Hello, I'm Tuck Everlasting from Bucket Junk, which is mostly a semesterly periodical where we take a tin buggy, a galvanized rubber receptacle. Thank you. Where are you going? Next, please. This is George Chesbro from uh, Fart During Your Answer magazine. Did you have fun doing the movie? Yeah, I had a great time. <laughs> you should have seen that coming. <laughs> oh, last one. Mr. Stark, can you move these cables so we can get my gurney in here? Yeah, yeah, let me help you with that. Yeah, here you go. Uh, you can't touch me. Sorry, I just bumped your bed thing. It keeps me alive. I'm probably going to die. Oh. And Jennifer Miller from Hotchkiss High School? I'm actually only 12, but they put me in high school because I'm probably going to die. I'm sorry to hear that. Don't feel sorry for me. When you feel sorry for me, it takes away from what little joy I have in my life. No, you got to enjoy life. That's what it's all about. When you tell people what to do, you take away their free choice and it makes them closer to death. Do you have any questions about the movie? Would you be my first kiss? What? I'm probably going to die. Uh. Don't put any weight on me whatsoever. My father once tried to help me put on my shirt and my shoulder dislocated. Shouldn't laugh. It's rude. Uh. I've never known the touch of a man. I shouldn't have even kissed you, so I thought this was Make-A-Wish or some shit. It is. My wish is to have a baby. I, I didn't sign on for that. <laughs> You've been splooged, motherfucker! Diego and Rocco in the morning! Wink, wink! Now you feel for the sploosh. Ah!